It's Thursday, you know what I mean. And you know what time it is. It's Thursday. It's Thursday's newspapers right here on my final closing time factor video coverage thoughts. A little bit of you know who. President Obama makes a historical trip to Cuba. Uh oh. Whatever happens. Plus, Donald Trump. Ted Cruz beating Ted Ted Cruz beating Donald Trump. And uh, we'll find out what it is. And it's going to be cool. We're going to do this right now. A little bit of a sneak preview of Time Factor Weekend. It's going to be cool. Anyway, it's me, LH Music, and this is the final closing Time Factor video cover thoughts. And all of you, if you don't mind, that means, that means, kick the theme music, shall we? Let's do it. The real conservatory that lives right here inside your video set. This is the Final Closing Time Factor video commentary. Thoughts Time Factor. Oh, welcome to Thursday. And it's time for another edition of Thursday's newspapers. And I'm ready to beat my drum. Because we are one. And guess what? Let, let's get inside a uh, you know who. According to Newsy Feed. News, Newsy.com, catch Newsy's uh, video headlines on Thursdays on my Time Factor website, which I'll be doing this later on today. Because Prince Obama makes a historical trip. Uh oh. Now, oh, why in the world did Prince Obama do this? Why he making a historical trip? And you know why? Because it pays to be nice to people. Well, guess what? I have. I, I have no intention to do it. That's why he wants to go to Cuba. Oh, Lord. Cuba. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That won't... Uh, uh, I don't even think so. Don't even, don't even try this. I want you to take a look and watch this. Watch this. Because... Now, why... Because... You, you, here, here's why. Because this is what happens. Prince Obama is... He has a plan. He has wanted to, to visit a large trip in, to Latin America. And that's why he's been itching to do something since Cuba and you and the U.S. are making better relations. Oh, boy. Remember this, Raul Castro? I really don't believe this. I have no clue whatsoever, and I'm. Mm-hmm. Warning. Stay away from you know who. That's right. <laughs> President Obama. That's my litmus confession. And why? Because uh, now everything else can be civilized about this. Now. How worse? President Obama has said he'll Stop right there. I want you. Okay, I want you to take a look and watch this from Newsy. This is from Newsy.com. Um, I just want to show you something by just this. Mm. Uh -huh, there you go. There you go. Take a look and watch this. President Obama has said he'll go to Cuba next month, making him the second president ever to do that while in office. Obama is planning the visit as part of a larger trip to Latin America, and it's apparently something he's been itching to do since Cuba and the U.S. started making their way toward better relations. In 2014, President Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro announced they would reestablish diplomatic ties. While it isn't clear if he'll meet with the Cuban leader again, the president said in an interview with Yahoo News a few months ago that that was one of the main reasons to set foot on the island. Time to, uh, to shine a light on the progress that's been made, but also uh, maybe to, to nudge uh, the Cuban government in a new direction. Oh, please. Cuba, you wish. 
aren't keen on the idea, and they don't view Cuba as a free country with Castro the head of state. Obama tweeted Thursday his triple in efforts that can improve the lives of the Cuban people. For Newsy, I'm Melissa Crax. All right, that's enough. <clears throat> now, uh, now everybody knows that uh, Cuba has no clue whatsoever. Well, I am. I have paid attention to it. Well, you get the idea. Anyways, uh, here it is. Uh, according to you know who. This, this is from Drudge. Drudge. And uh, you know what that means. Donald Trump is falling behind. Mm -hmm. See, Donald Trump, you shouldn't be paying attention as I blasted your face yesterday. Yesterday on uh, on my final closing time factor video commentary thoughts. You know why? Because Ted Cruz pulls ahead to blast Donald Trump in the face. Because you know why? Because you know why? Uh, take a look at this. This is for your very eyes and ears. This is a. Uh, Oh boy, let's make this straight. Yes, here it is. Here it is. Ted Cruz is about leading the polls about 28, and Donald Trump has 26. Mm hmm. See, I told you, they crashed. Crashed over you. From now on, they're crashing over you. So, because, because you know why? Cruz is the first choice. And the and rest of the results is, yeah. It's history. Hey, Ty Cruz, I'm very fine on you. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. And of course, um, this could be outrageous. Now, um, this is also from Drudge. Drudge, and I mean this, according to Washington Post, Sheriff says Beyonce is inciting bad behavior in in endangering law enforcement. Why in the heavens on earth? I was only try to... Oh, gosh. First. You know why? Because at first, because Beyonce, yeah, Sheriff Robert Arnold says he has no explanations why shots were fired outside his home in Rufford County, Tennessee last Monday night. Except perhaps, that's right, undercut anti-police settlement. Well, Sheriff Robert Arnold blame you, Beyonce, because she did this on purpose. Because, <laughs> quote this, you have Beyonce's video and that kind of led over into other things as well. So. That's all I can say. So it's gonna be it's gonna be worse. So okay. Oh yeah, one more. Oh yes. Oh yeah, one more, one more thing. Did you know that Starbucks Schultz warns? That's right. No, no, no. no. I will try something else. Because, um, I think you know that mob wives, star Angela Big, Angela Royal dies of, you know, cancer from, you know, she's a star of VH1's mob wives. She has died in a battle with cancer. And, um, touch her friends with, family and friends with real, real. Rayola, so you get the picture. Anyways, that's all for newspapers. Don't forget this weekend, Time Factor Weekend starts with I know I'll be here for Time Factor Weekend video commentary thoughts. Could be a final closing. That is from Daily Motion, and so is my Time Factor Radio show. And don't forget, oh yes, Kanye West, he'll be here this weekend for an all new um, Time Factor television show right here on Fox. And so is, you know who, Time Factor Files. 
on Fox News, and so it's Sunday Night News, right here on the Hallmark Channel, and <clears throat> I can't even tell you what it is, but you better catch me Fridays for an all new <clears throat> FB, FB, FB Newswire right here on the Blaze Television Network, and so it's Saturdays. Do this at Dunkin' Donuts. It's going to be cool. Right here, Saturdays, after our all-new RMF. Anyway, so we get to Facebook and follow Elliot Music. <laughs> Facebook and follow Elliot Music, Facebook.com, and Twitter.com. And all of you know my username, Elliot Music Time. And so it's my time for the website, Elliot Music Time And so it's time for the page on Facebook as well. It's at Facebook.com slash the only real music, music time factor. Make sure you better listen to Fox News Headlines 24-7 right here on Sirius XM 115. And I'll see you later on tonight with Greg Craig Ferguson. He's going to talk about this new show on the History History Channel. It's called Join or Die History. <laughs> You're going to love him. And so is Catholic Answer Thursday with Patrick Coffin from Catholic Answers Live on EWTN Global Catholic Radio Network. Right here. And hey, it's LH Music Time. Later on tonight, after Skip and Sandra will be filling in for me. Skip is filling in for me. Uh, keep an eye on things with you know who. Cassandra. On an all new LH Music and Cassandra. Right here on the Blaze Radio Network. Don't forget Blaze Television Network too. Anyways, I really, really, really gotta go because I gotta catch the bus and pack up the things and out the door. And I'll see you this weekend on Time Factor Weekend. And I'll be, we'll be back here on Monday at home from youtube.com slash lhmusic1. And I gotta go. LH Music's about to sign up for God's blessings. And we salute you, America. Take care. Bye-bye. See ya.